In part one, we left off on, he asked, wondering what his children had done with the knowledge that was presented for them. Well, during the lambing season, that was during March April time, which would be just before Passover, during, so I remember your crucifixion, but during the Feast of First Fruits, because you were the first fruit that was resurrected from the dead, but you told me to celebrate your birthday during the Feast of Sukkot, Tabernacles. He was agreeing with what I was saying, nodding innocently. Then he asked, Can I see the book you read from? And I brought out the Bible I had and gave it to him. He looked at it, looking confused and sighed, putting his head down. Where is the rest? He said rather sternly. I began to get quite afraid. So it's true? He looked quite stern and angry. And I was afraid, and ran away from him. He came after me, and knelt to where I was hiding, and said, Joy, please come out of that. I'm not angry with you. I'm angry with the people that have done this. I slowly came out and embraced him. He picked me up like a child, and held me tight as I cried in his arms. He held his hand on the back of my hair, caressing it. I felt so incredibly loved at that moment, as I always do when I embrace him. I can always count on his love. Then he asked me, You don't like seeing me angry, do you? No, too terrifying, I replied honestly. This is because you have the fear of the Lord. Now where is the rest of Ezra? They took it out, I replied to him. Who took it out? The people, Papa. Constantine chose what went into the Bible, and then Catholics chose which books to put in, and which ones not to, according to what they wanted their religion to be, so that everything would fit with their belief. He sighed as I spoke, sounding disappointed. So there is more to Ezra? Yes, there is more, he told me. On the book of Enoch? I asked. True, he replied. The first book of Adam and Eve? I asked. True, he said again. The Maccabees? Also true, final story, so is the book of Enoch as it explains the end and what was written for the last generation, his prophecies and truth. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. It was all true and now I knew why I was sent here, to learn the truth and to tell people about this conversation. There's more to Ezra, I asked concerned. Yes, it speaks of the end and there are others which should not have been removed. One Ezra's, two Ezra's, Tobit, Judith, the rest of Esther, the wisdom of Solomon, Achilles Baruch, with the epistle of Jeremiah, the songs of the three holy children, the history of Susanna, Baal and the dragon, the prayer for Manasseh, one Maccabees, two Maccabees. I was completely shocked, and the many times I've had visions where I have spoken to Peter and the apostles told them about missing books and every expression I've received is shocked and concerned. What else has gone on in your time? He asked. I knew he knew exactly which point in time I was in, but I think I need to tell him for clarification. People celebrate Christmas in honour of your birthday and Easter in remembrance of your crucifixion. What? He said sternly. They celebrate Christmas on December 25th, 1st, pronounced by Constantine, to celebrate your birthday. But what they don't realise is the pagan roots of Christmas, which you also want us not to go near pagan ways. But there are some who are lost and confused. And this is something they have believed in. For years, Father, their ancestors have taught them these things, because their ancestors taught them so. They also gather in church during Easter in remembrance of your crucifixion, which again, Easter Sunday, is a pagan root and pagan tradition, which again you warn us against. Father, they won't even listen to prophets anymore, I explained. They didn't in the past, my darling. Continue. I continued on. I don't celebrate Christmas. I celebrate your birthday on Sukkot, Feast of Tabernacles. I remember your crucifixion during Passover. On the Feast of First Fruits, also remember the giving of the Ten Commandments on Shaviot, along with the giving of the Holy Spirit in Acts 2 during Shaviot Pentecost. This I am well pleased with, my daughter. You have done well. I can see how exceedingly your future will be. You have wisdom far beyond your years. 
he told me. But I'm only a baby, I complained. Yes, you are very young in spirit, and feel because of your spiritual age you are unworthy towards the ones who have been with me longer. But I say to that, it matters more on your bond with me and your knowledge of my ways and my love and compassion than how long someone has believed in me and my father. Obeying the commandments, not one should be evaded, for I came not to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. Have strength and courage. I see you lack boldness and confidence, but I would give you more, my daughter. You shall do great things. He looked at me, lovingly and compassionately. What are you seeing? I asked him, curious. I see your spirit and soul, he simply said. With just one look, can you see a sparkly white essence? Can you see these white, flying, sparkly dots dotting about? I asked him, getting more excited as I have said more looking at him. What makes you ask such things? It's what I'm picturing right now. He was amazed. Somehow. I looked it. Then he asked, Do I give you visions in the future? Yes, I replied. Do I give you dreams that you think are impossible? Yes, father. Do I make you a prophet? Yes, you did. In your time, it would have already happened, but in this time, I have not done it yet, he told me. That's true, I said, smiling. You need healing, my daughter. You looked at me concerned. Yes, with my anxiety illness. But I know I have to want the healing in order to be healed, don't I? I asked Wade. Yes, you must want it. He agreed. But how do I do that? By simply just wanting it, he said. Oh, well, I suppose I need to want it then. You know I can heal you ma no matter where you are. Please want it. I don't want you to suffer. That is why I made the ultimate sacrifice. But I thought in order to carry a cross I needed to suffer as you suffered. I asked. There is long suffering that is needed in this life, and then there is suffering that can be healed from, and is allowed to be healed from. And your anxiety is something that is allowed to be healed from. And that was the end of...